Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about um, Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals here. I'll do the Thursday night football schedule in the next video. But I want to get my first NBA recap out of the way tonight. First um, game is the Boston Celtics meeting the Cleveland Cavaliers. 113-98 reaction to advance to the um, Eastern Conference Finals against either the winner of the Pacers Knicks. Uh, Celtics... They had, they they had to they had to fight for this game. Uh, Cleveland didn't go away to the first three quarters. Marcus Morris and Evan Mobley were really leading the way. After them, Darius Garland had an off night. It was really Marcus Morris, Evan Mobley leading the way the first three quarters. Celtics had to, or they were, every time they scored, the Cavs would respond back. But it was ninety to eighty five. And then the Celtics went on like a, I think like a, I forgot what it was. It was 90-85, then it was like 101-87. And then you're like, yeah, the game's over there. Evan Mobley and Mark Monte Morris did all they could. But outside of that, you really didn't get nothing. Max Strews and Garland, you really didn't get much there. Dean Wade, not much there either. A quarter only played 12 minutes because of foul trouble. Niang was terrible. He was over three, missed all three of his shots. So we'll go over the Cavs uh, stats first. We're we'll just talk about the game. Celtics win by 15 here. Now they've advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals for like uh, I think what the last like two three years. So starting at home, have repeated results in the first and second round of the playoffs, like 1-0-1-1-2-1-3-1-4 against the Heat and Cavs. Like they've repeated results in the first and second round. And now you can say easiest pass to the finals, and I get it. Like I get it, cause you know Heat weren't that great, and the Cavs kind of you know were riddled with injuries, especially their star player. Well, Celtics did what they had to do to take care of business. They did what they had to do to take care of business and advance to the conference finals. Their third straight conference finals. And they said and they said it was a reach Eastern Conference Finals for the sixth time in Jalen Brand's eight years in Boston. We'll see if they can actually win the finals this year. But Al Horford was good tonight. I thought he shut down Darius Garland. He, sh he just shut him down tonight in isolation. So many impressive stops. And he really bounced back this game. Also, three pointers. I think he made five of them. The last two games, he was like 0 for 10. This game, he made five. And I know they're going back to the conference finals. Dream on Green is like, oh, no one cares. But. I mean, I understand why you say because if the Celtics don't win the championship this year, that's kind of a, another failure of a season. But I thought the Cavs done as, maybe as good as they could because injured and they weren't injured and they fought their ass off until the end. Total opposite of last year. Injury sucked, but the Celtics also injured were just better. But I think one thing maybe um, J, JB Beakerstaff has to go. But, I mean, he kind of did coach his ass off because the roster isn't that great, but I don't know. I just don't know if he's the coach that's going to take you that level. But the Celtics are a great team, uh, one, the best team offensively, really, throughout the whole season. And they had one, two, three, four, five, six guys scoring double digits. Two guys with 20, 20 plus. Uh, as a team, the Celtics shot 52% from the floor. 44% from three, out-rebounded Cleveland, 43-28, 11-6 on the offensive glass, 32-22 on the defensive glass, 32-25 on assists. Uh, both teams had 10-plus turnovers. Uh, as for the Celtics, Jason Tatum, 25 points, 9 assists, 10 rebounds, 9 of 16 shooting. And that's his 20th career game with at least 25-10-5. and five. Um... He was great defensively as well. He had four steals. He was great. It was kind of a questionable first three quarters, but burying in the fourth and winning by 15 is a great way to close it. I dream on his right. Tatum and Brown have won, too, have won too much for Eastern Conference Finals to matter. 
they gotta win the finals this year. Because even if you get to the final, even if you make it past Eastern Conference Finals, you gotta win the finals. Who cares if you make it past Eastern Conference Finals? If, even if you, if you don't win the finals, it's a failure of a season. Horford, 22 points, 5 assists, 15 rebounds, 8 of 15, I believe he made 5 threes. I think players in NBA history to with at least 10 rebounds, 5 three-pointers, 5 assists, and 3 blocks. Al Horford, tonight, no one else. Al Horford won this game, been able to just force Darius Garland to long shots in isolation, those 5 threes, he was fantastic. Jalen Brown, 11 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds, 4 for 9. Didn't take many shots tonight. Kind of a passive game. But overall, he's played good in these playoffs. Drew Holiday, 13 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds, 5 of 9 shooting. Drew in the dunker spot was good. I like what they did there, put him in the dunker spot. He's been wide open under the basket, really, this whole series. Pritchard, 11 points, uh, 4 for 7. Uh, Luke Cornet, 8 points, uh, 1 rebound, uh, 3 for 3. Uh, Sam Hauser, 5 points, 1 assist, 4 rebound, 2 for 4. It's a solid game from Luke Cornet. I mean, he had 8 points, 3 for 3 shooting. But Xavier Tillman really should be playing because Cor Luke Cornet's getting gets cut defensively. That's why you drive Xavier Tillman in there. But yeah, those are the Celtic stats uh, for the Cavs. Evan Mobley, 33 points, 4 assists, 7 rebounds, 15 to 24. He was fantastic. He finished with 33 points. You just need to get a coach who understands pace and spacing. Put as much shooting around Mobley as possible. If Mitchell signs, trade Garland. You can trade Garland as well. Jared Allen you can keep, I think. But Evan Mobley, he played good in the Eastern Conference Finals, averaged 21, 9, and 3 with on 62% shooting. This team would have actually been contenders if Garner was not on it, and some 3 and D guys were. But they made it interesting in that in the th th three quarters, and part of that fourth quarter. Mar Marcus Morris, 25 points, 3 rebounds. He outscored uh, the Boston Bench 25-24 in Game 5. 10 of 13 shooting, 5 of 6 from 3. Shout out to him, though. He had a good game, finally. But Max Strews, my lord. 12 points, 9 assists, 7 rebounds. Uh, he was only 3 for 10 shooting. Garland, 11 points, 9 assists, 4 for 17. He was horrendous. I think just a lot of this lies on Darius Garland. He just didn't have it. And I'm not sure why the Cavs didn't run most of the offense through Mobley. Because he couldn't be stopped. Darius Garland, uh, a to like a tour date right there. Dean Wade, 3 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds, 1 for 3. Coro, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 2 for 4. You should probably get rid of a Coro. Get a wing that can actually be good offensively. Sam Merrill, 9 points, 2 rebounds, 3 for 5. Yeah, just not much outside of Morris and Mobley here in this game, but Cavs win 113-98, Mass in the Eastern Conference Finals. They'll either, they'll either play the Pacers or Knicks. I believe Sunday or Tuesday, depending when that series ends, but it's all to say. So until next time, I have a lot of peace. My next video will be the Thursday Night Football Reap schedule.